morning everybody it's actually a little bit afternoon now because we slept in really late and then we went and got brunch at one of our favorite Eureka Springs restaurants it's called the filling station um, but we contacted them and they didn't really want to be on the vlog that much so we just time-lapsed our meal and then we left yes but right now we're at Onyx Cave we wanted to show you a little bit of some natural Eureka Springs and so when we saw that there was a cave we were like we have to do that yeah so we're really excited yeah we're about to take <laughs> you through this cave tour maybe if they allow cameras if not we'll tell you about it <laughs> let's go So cool. We are like in a real cave. Like this is this is real. This isn't man-made. Like this is awesome. What? That's cool. We're listening to the tour on our headsets. The cave is still alive and active and growing. So there's a wishing well that you can make a wish and throw a coin in. So we're gonna do that. Ready? Yeah. Make your wish. One, two. Three. Neither one of ours made it into the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> you can see there's a bucket. <laughs> I wonder if that means our wishes are gonna come true. Oh well, they made it in the little well around the bucket. Hold on, I, I have one more. I have one more. See if I can hold the camera and do it at the same time. Okay. Oh nope. <laughs> All right, we're done with that. <laughs> It's harder than it looks, I promise. <laughs> we gotta duck our heads. <laughs> I definitely just stepped right in that puddle of water. <laughs> That's what I get for looking at the camera. Oh uh, no. <laughs> The little radio just said, don't disturb the resting bats. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are they in there? No, I don't know. I don't want to see them. I don't want to see them. Oh, this is the end anyway. Okay, thoughts on the cave tour? I really enjoyed it. It was really fun. It was shorter than I expected it to be. Yeah. It said that mm -hmm. it was gonna be a little bit less expensive in the magazine that we looked at. And we ended up getting here and it was a little bit more expensive than the magazine said. So that was kind of a bummer. But yeah. they do offer like bundle packages if you wanted to do like cave tour and axe throwing. Oh my gosh. Oh, you got it, girl. <laughs> totally being modest. <laughs> and she's like, I can guarantee it'll stick. And then just hits it right, right in the center there. Our yeah. cave tour and what it they was like it? a rock sorting painting kind of deal yeah which would be really cool like if you had kids with you it'd yeah. be really really neat it's yeah. super dark in there and there's a lot of uneven steps but they have handrails that you can hold on to so it's a good family thing for everybody <laughs> yeah it really is and i would highly recommend it <laughs> i'm really glad we did it yeah <laughs> Okay, so on the way to the cave, we did not have the camera out and we were really bummed because we came up on this museum, but it's like a bunch of little buildings and they appear to be closed. There's nobody here, but it's like a military museum. That sign says, welcome cadet world and there's a little Eureka Springs Railroad Historical Museum. And then there's some airplanes, like old military airplanes. And they are so cool. Check this out. TJ went over there already. It's locked. It's locked? Yeah, it's locked. Aw. That's okay, we can still look at them from outside the fence. Look at this. So right on the other side, like right there is where we pulled in off the road. And there's these planes. I feel like we should be listening to some like danger zone right now. 
Your shirt even says stay fly. Yeah, courtesy of my friend Steven. Shout out to Steven. This is the museum or a bunch of little museums maybe. So random fact, all of my uncles are in the Air Force. One of them is a pilot and I just think airplanes are super, super cool. Like anytime I can go to an air show, it's really awesome. So this is, this is so neat. Have you ever been to like a history museum or something like that and it just like smells old? That's what this smells like right now. You can smell the oldness, which is really cool. Kind of makes you wonder like, what were the life of these airplanes like and the people who flew them? And also like, how did they get them here? Because <laughs> the road that we got, the road that we, we took here, my truck barely fits on. And. Mary Catherine just set off my truck alarm. What'd you do? I need my phone. Turn it off. You have the keys. They're gonna come get us. <laughs> I just the windows down and it was on it wasn't unlocked, so I reached in the window to get my phone and when I got out, that happened. So lesson learned. Don't reach into the windows when the truck's locked. <laughs> Is that thunder? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> this may be a short trip. There we go. So this Christ of the Ozark statue is at a place called the Great Passion Play, which we've never seen because they've been closed both times we've been here. But they have a big amphitheater where they perform the play and they also have what they call Holy Land tours because they've set up kind of like, um, I guess an imitation of what the real Holy Land would be like. They have a petting zoo there, um, a little Noah's Ark feature, and it all looks really cool. So we were getting ready to leave and we're just casually driving by and we see this monument over here that says actual piece of the Berlin Wall and there it is. <laughs> Check that out. been here before and we totally drove by this last time and this is like a major piece of history yeah. sitting right here we almost passed it a second time there's something over here though that's kind of piquing my interest it's a little dome thing that we're gonna go check out so right next to the piece of the Berlin Wall was this shelter looking thing that we were interested in The acoustics. What about the acoustics? <laughs> they sound weird. Yeah, this is crazy. Like you can stand here and it echoes a very weird way, but if you move half a step over, 
it echoes in a completely different way. Tell them about this thing. What is this thing? I just read on this little plaque outside that this is an Israeli bomb shelter that was brought here. The article was written in 2015, so maybe it was brought here around that time. There's two brought to the U.S., and one of them is here. One of them is in Oklahoma, and it's just supposed to show like how daily life is for southern Israeli families because they do have to worry about bombings near their city, and so... This is kind of to put some things into perspective about our friends across the world. Yeah, and there's this little sign here. It says, warning, during a storm, wear ear protection. <laughs> and it also there's another sign from Texas Tech that says, it successfully passed missile impact resistance tests at Texas Tech University. Which is a surprising fact. I didn't know they were dropping missiles at Texas Tech. <laughs> yeah. Those are two pretty big, like, monuments. Yeah. Like, I mean, the Jesus statue is pretty cool, but I feel like these things are overlooked. Yeah. So we thought after a long, hard cave tour and Jesus statue tour that it was time for some sweets. Yeah. So we're headed down here to the candy shop we saw yesterday to get some treats. There's there, Catherine. She had to go get her mask. <laughs> This is Two Dumb Dames Fudge Factory. We have a lot of different kinds of candy and fudge, and I'm so excited to be here. Tell us, tell us about your place. Um, well, we've been here for 41 years this year. So my grandmother and great grandmother started the store. Oh my gosh! And so I've been in here since I was a kid. <laughs> the chocolate pecan is our all-time bestseller. Peanut butter, you know, always a favorite. Uh, my mom makes the divinity here, which most people don't make anymore. Yeah. So it's like a really old-fashioned candy that you know it's it's kind of losing. It's it's really hard to make. So yeah. <laughs> most people don't make it, but uh -huh. she's been doing it for almost the whole 40 years we've been here. So. So we have a turtle, toffee, and chocolate covered strawberries. There are three different kinds of fudge in here and this is what Two Dumb Dames is known for, is the fudge that they make. So this is gonna be good. This is a dark chocolate salted. It's like the perfect fudge. The perfect fudge, we have found it. Like, okay, I really like fudge. But every time I try it, it's like one bite and it's like way too rich usually. But this is like that perfect amount of sweetness, but also the salt from the sea salt. That's good stuff. And this is like caramel in it. Your favorite. Mmm. That's actually pretty good. Mm hmm So I'm usually not a fan of chocolate and caramel, or really caramel anything. Because he's weird. But that was good. <laughs> so this is like a fruit one. It smells really good. Wow. That, I'm trying to decide. It's like, kind of tastes like a sucker. Like a fruit sucker, but it's like texture of fudge. It's it like, like ice cream. That's what's like. The flavor like hits you like two or three seconds later. Yeah. That's so good. Kind of like, like sherbet, is it? Yeah, it's like. Yeah. Sherbet ice cream, but in fudge form. Yeah, that is good stuff. This one I'm probably the most excited about because it's peanut butter chocolate, and that's my favorite flavor combination. <laughs> Look at the swirls in that. I know. That is so awesome. My 
my turn. <laughs> my favorite. We might have to go back and get a whole block of that. <laughs> oh yeah. man. For real. Y'all, that is so good. Oh. That one's my favorite. Was peanut butter chocolate's my favorite. It's I think so that's good. my favorite too. Peanut butter chocolate, can't go wrong. Mm -mm. What is that? This is a turtle. And it's the best turtle I've ever had. Not like a real turtle. <laughs> like, like a chocolate pecan turtle. Yeah. <laughs> that was... I could mm. eat that a lot. Mm. I think it's like... Mm. <laughs> Everything so balanced. good. You don't get to talk. Okay. <laughs> that was good. Mm. <laughs> Ooh. I'm gonna break it. That. Man, it's all so good. It's fresh. Uh huh. Yeah. That's the best word. All right. Chocolate pepper strawberries. favorite. You have to get the chocolate cup right here. burgers tonight out on the grill yes it's already dark okay we've been home for a while but we got sidetracked with some things and we have been packing you can see some of our foods already packed up um, because we're leaving early tomorrow morning and I didn't want to have to pack after dinner and I didn't want to get up early to pack so now we're finally making dinner and it's almost 9 p.m. But hey, vacation time, right? Vacation time. So anyway, we're making burgers. The frozen meat the other day. Um, smush it all up. It is really cold, y'all. If you haven't found out by now, Chris, the person we keep mentioning, is Mary Catherine's cousin. And... He cooks a lot yeah, of good food. <laughs> that's who we get our, our culinary uh, advice from because everything he, he cooks is good. Yeah. Thanks, Chris. So, we used to use this thing called uh, smoky applewood seasoning on our burgers, which we still do sometimes, but the grunt rub's just really good. So I smash them out. I have a burger smasher, but the meat kind of sticks to it most of the time. So if any of you have a burger smasher, like where you just put the meat in it and smash it with the handle, yeah, and it works, let me know. It's not working for me. So I usually just use my hands if it's just my family eating. And I try to squish them out a lot because this, like, I like my burgers pretty well done, so they shrink a lot by the time <laughs> they come off the grill. TJ's drinking my Sprite. <laughs> you had some stuff on your hands, so I figured I'd help you out. Thanks for putting a lot in my mouth. TJ and I like a lot of flavor in our food, so you don't have to take all of our cooking advice. TJ in particular likes things spicy. I have learned to like spice since meeting him. But we season things pretty well. So this again is on Code3Spices.com. Not sponsored, I just think you should try it. Um, 
However, you can get the smoky applewood seasoning, which I also highly recommend at Walmart or Dollar General. <laughs> All right, now it's time to grill. So, I'm going to get the spatula. The spatula. The spatula! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna do a magic trick. You ready for this? It's called floating camera. So you can kind of see I'm holding the camera right now. And I'm gonna float it. Oh, oh there it is. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll work on that. <laughs> to the Sorry. grill. <laughs> Sorry, I almost dropped it. It's probably too dark out here for the camera. Okay, now while TJ tries to find the moth he let in to kill it, I have some tater tots to make. Great value tater tots. And while our dinner is cooking. Okay, 30 minutes and counting. <laughs> I told her to set a timer for 30 minutes. Like 30 seconds ago, I thought she did it already. Dumb dames. It's so good, y'all. Those chocolate covered strawberries were the best chocolate covered strawberries I've ever had. You're eating the chocolate without me? But it was really hard because it's been in the fridge. All right, make some burgers. Thanks. Now that's a burger. How was dinner? It was really good. Getting the marshmallows. <laughs> no! Ew! I was like, you're kidding me, I can't see them. <laughs> no! <laughs> it's just <laughs> It's stuck to my neck! <laughs> day of adventures you're gonna have to do that again <laughs> yeah, I know. what's happening is like this can you hold it good morning <laughs> it's actually like afternoon now um it's just afternoon because why did you look at me like that because you're like good morning <laughs> y'all vlogging yes we are <laughs> If we were vlogging, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, as long as you can you can walk and you're not in a wheelchair, I should probably shouldn't say this. <laughs> it's. it's a... <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is fogged up. It's a little better. All back in there. Alright, tell us about where we are. We are at Christ oh. of the. Oak. Sorry, it's not focused on you. Oh, that's a nice angle. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I feel like these things are overlooked. Yeah. These are way, like, so much worth the trip. That didn't come out right. All right. <laughs> there are three different kinds of fudge in here. <clears throat> Let me try that again. Let's get choked up on it. Cold. Oh, crud. <laughs> What's it called? This part probably won't make it in the vlog. I just felt like talking. That's yours. Yeah. Oh. Do you see all the smoke out there? Walking. No. Watch. Oh my. <laughs> he opens the grill and all the smoke goes. I hope that's okay. I don't really know much about grilling. We shall see. That's what TJ would say. We shall see. <laughs> my glasses fogged up. What are you doing? Oh, it's my finger. Oh my gosh. Just hit my finger off. <laughs> and there's no blood. <laughs> we didn't start the fire. It was always burning since the world's been turning. 
when you're out in the woods like this, you can sing as loud as you want. <laughs> Throw it away. <laughs>